In this round, the teams will see some pictures. All our teams have to do is work out what that complaint is. Catherine and Nick, you get the first one. Oh. Okay, so what <laughs> made this woman so angry that she stood like this until a photographer arrived outside her bungalow? Because she's dressed as a lawn. Yeah, that has happened. <laughs> That's what it is, the they same didn't. Thing. Is she complaining yeah. about how heavy her own arm is? <laughs> <laughs> she's pointing, but it also could be she's doing some kind of new exercise. Um, Do you think she's just not seen grass before and she's like, there's tiny trees everywhere? <laughs> is it the fact that, because her, her, her top is so, such beautiful green, <laughs> and the lawn is sort of like, it used to be green, but it's obviously been cut and they've yeah. left the clippings there. Is it the fact that she no longer matches the lawn because the clippings have rotted and gone brown? <laughs> I've got to say, that is well worth a point. This Northampton resident was so angry about the nightmare piles of cut grass left behind by the council that she started a one-woman pointing at stuff campaign they could <laughs> no longer ignore. She <laughs> said... I always write it down when they cut the grass. I like to keep an eye on it. I'm part of the Neighbourhood Watch. It's just such a mess. It just lays there. That's one of the most literal stories ever. <laughs> and grass who stares at grass. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so one point to you guys. Very well done. Deliso and Sarah, what's happened here? What's his complaint? Declaring his allegiance to the Stuarts. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a gag, but I like it. Does he create beautiful pictures with his jizz? <laughs> <laughs> Just holds it up like, look what I did. <laughs> I have a feeling that there'd be would another be photo impressive. of an old woman just pointing at it on the floor. <laughs> 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 just a bit of <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's ordered something and he didn't order a. He doesn't look like a doily man. Might he have ordered a tablecloth and that's what. Because it's like a shrunk ah, like doll. Oh, okay. Like dolls, yes, so like it's a something smaller comedy. version of what he wanted. All yes. right. I can tell you that you are very close to being right. Oh. Or did actual flowers? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're very close though. Uh, the man from Wolverhampton uh, went online to order a four man tent but received <laughs> a lace doily instead. How but was he... I close? Uh, he, he ordered something different, I guess. Oh, okay. that's <laughs> well, he ordered something that's for right. camping and he got something very camp instead. Like, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially. When he emailed the company, uh, they responded saying the tent was out of stock, so they'd sent him a similar item <laughs> in his place. Uh, he said... Initially, I thought it was amusing, but had I booked a holiday and hoped to use the tent, I would have been very disappointed. Meanwhile... We have the doily on the table in the house. Uh, meanwhile, there's someone out there currently trying to balance a vase of daffodils on top of a two-man tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't look so disappointed, because he's like, yeah. still got a doily. <laughs> they did say it was a special offer. You know, I mean, it was rubbish, but it was still a special offer. Wasn't it? You know, that pretty much happened to me. I buy a lot of stuff off eBay, mm. and, it, and I've got, like, a cowboy-themed living room. <laughs> right, and I bought some cowboy boots once, and I'm like a size 11, and they turned up and they were children size 11. Like, <laughs> you know that's not, you know, you know that's not what I ordered. <laughs> They're only child cowboys, <laughs> and um, and so uh, uh, so I wanted to buy a doily, right? And I bought a, um, it was this doily that had wagon trains and wagon wheels on it, right? Okay. And I waited weeks and weeks because it come from America, <laughs> and when it arrived, it was a picture of a doily. <laughs> They sent me a picture of a doily that they'd cut out of a magazine. <laughs> no. No. What? But I framed it. It looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, Catherine and Nick, here's another one for you. Uh, why did this seemingly innocent picture make people so irate? <sighs> oh, because there should be a prison sentence for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's self-explanatory, right? Yeah, I mean... What's stressing you out about that, Catherine? What's not stressing me out about that? That's... I'm... <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> but also, we're making out those seem comparable. I was in hospital for OCD. We did exposure therapy that was less stressful than that. <laughs> that is insane. That's, that is only acceptable if uh, you've got loads of washing up and someone's just come over and you're putting it there. Oh, yeah. I see. A like storage. A, like a cupboard. Yeah, yeah. before you get back to like it Like a later. wet cupboard. Yeah, like yeah. a dirty cupboard. Yeah, I've got a theory that couples... <laughs> 
uh, uh, couples are made up of a loader yeah. and an unloader. Yeah, and that's that. what that's why cu real couples work yeah. long term. I don't do it like that. Uh, trust no, me. no, that's like but someone's do done it after ten pints. <laughs> now, this is a game changer. We've got a, a dishwasher that's this high up. Oh wow! Is that part of your future proofing your house? Future proofing, back proofing. Have you got also grab rails in the toilet? <laughs> 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 You're on the right lines there. The picture of an Australian woman's disorganised dishwasher prompted a heated debate on social media with hundreds of people saying they were horrified by the state of it. Uh, it does look like they fired pots and pans in from the front room with a catapult. <laughs> <laughs>